The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, on Wednesday said that one person died in the multiple accidents that happened on Otedola Bridge in Lagos. Speaking with newsman, Assistant Corps Commander Ojota Command said four vehicles were involved in the accident, which had claimed one life, while another person has been brought to the hospital. The accident, which happened this morning around 8.40 a.m., involved four vehicles. The truck was said to have lost control of its brakes and ran into the Toyota pickup van. The driver died while the female occupant has been rushed to the hospital. Joining me in the studio to have a conversation with this is a legal practitioner, Daniel Odukbe. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. What's your reaction to the multiple accident? This is not the first time we're hearing this. Absolutely. This is not the first time. Um, unfortunately, as a people, we always wait for um, things to go a while like this until, you know, it comes to our consciousness. And then after a while, you know, we forget about it and then it becomes business as usual. Um, I, I think that information for, for now, I'm not too sure what exactly was the cause. I, I know that it's been stated that um, it's as a result of brake failure, but we know that there are several other contributory factors to it, you know, and these are perennial problems. As, as far as I can remember, as far back as 1999, that stretch of road, Lagos about the Accessory, has always been a tool of campaign year in, year out. Um, you know, election season in, election season out. You know, you have that, that issue. You have the issue of, um, you know, um, the kind of vehicles that are on the road. The fact that these big trucks, you know, are still playing the road. You know, you know you're heavily dependent on, on the road transportation. These are issues that, you know, we do not take very seriously until things like this happen. What you know, can the government do at this time, in your opinion, to maybe help, you know, check? This is another case of brake failure. Absolutely. Um, so, again, I know that there's, uh, apart from the Federal Road Safety Corps, um, there won't be one or two other um, federal parts that are supposed to ensure that vehicles are roadworthy. You know, and the, again, this is this brings to, to bear the question of having a solid system in place. She, if you have a solid system, if the system is strong enough and people are alive to their responsibility in, in, in their various you know, offices, things like this will not happen. Unfortunately, there is no quick fix solution. There's no, there's, there's no um, straightforward solution that the government can deploy right now to say, okay, tomorrow morning they won't be from tomorrow, and from they won't be. You know, it's a matter of doing the right things, making sure that people in their different offices are doing the right thing. There goes like this, who's responsible for ensuring that they're wood worthy. You know, um, the person, I don't know, I, I mean, do, do, do those checks, do they still even exist? You know, should we be waiting for things like this before we wake up to it? So it's a systemic problem, and we we need to we need to, and that's why you know the develop uh, um, climbs are, are where they are, and we are where we are. You don't wait for things to go wrong before you you, you ensure that the, the proper checks are in place. It is to avoid things like this. Majority, we all know, majority of the accidents on our roads are avoidable. Bad roads, our roads don't last anymore. You know, people not doing their jobs, people not checking, people you know bribery everywhere. Those issues, they're not issues that you can just we call, there are systemic issues that you know a, a, a more comprehensive you know solution will, will, will work. You know, basically ensuring that the systems are working, people are alive to their responsibilities, people are on their toes doing their jobs. You know, yes, yes, you get rid of corruption. You know, people people are competent, competent people are in the right place in the civil service, especially. These are issues that you will continue to have incidents like this until we wake up to our responsibility. Um, before I let you go, how can uh, the state government better manage the vehicular traffic on our roads? First and foremost, you have a state like Lagos, almost completely dependent on road. Our roads are overstretched. I cannot imagine the kind of traffic that people witness today. You can imagine, first and foremost, you cannot have over 20 million people in a small state like Lagos, and the only viable means of transport is road. That's First and foremost, is, is the most obvious. I know that we hear trickets of news here and there, or uh, water. And interestingly, Lagos is blessed with, with water, you know, connected bodies, water bodies here and there that I cannot understand why we are not maximizing it up to now. There's the issue of the rail. The rail um, along the stretch of um, Lagos, but I express with that rail has been there forever. I don't understand. So, you know, 
it's again it goes back to making sure that you do your, people do their jobs people do not that you get rid of um, um, you know bad ex occupying whatever position people living up to their responsibility we always want quick fix we always want instant solutions no just make sure that day-to-day -day governance are done properly and why why should a real constructor take so long to i mean so so first and foremost we need to get away from depending solely on vote and people need to live up to their responsibility thank you very much for coming on the news. Thank you.